Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. We're going to continue talking about jerk baits today in today's video. And I uh, much appreciate you guys taking a little time out to watch it. And today what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the Mega Bass 110 versus the Smithwick Road. Two of the most iconic jerk baits out there on the market. And I've got a lot of experience with both of them. So I'm going to give you guys a, a little seminar on uh, you know everything you need to know about both of the both of those as far as comparing the two in their effectiveness and one of the things you guys got to remember about this channel it doesn't matter if I'm talking about baits mental stuff you know environmental stuff whatever I'm giving you guys just my opinion on it I'm not this is I'm not trying to say this is the way it is with everything I'm giving you guys my opinion on it what works for me what I've proven to work for me and uh, so just uh, take that with, uh, remember, remember that every time I'm talking about something you may or may not agree with. But real quick, you know, speaking of jerk baits, I want to remind you guys, Johnny and I have our next virtual seminar on January 20th, Thursday, January 20th. We're going to be do, doing a seminar on advanced jerk bait techniques. So this is going to be uh, full of juice, man. Johnny's going to do all the live scope jerk bait, you know, coverage. I'm going to talk about everything else, colors, techniques, cadences, where you need to fish it. 50 years of experience on it. If you want to enter that, or if you want to uh, get on for that, it's a three hour seminar online, and you can sign up for that at fishthemoment.com. It's limited to only 30 people, so if you guys are interested, spots are gonna fill up pretty quick. You might uh, check it out at fishthemoment.com. Much appreciated. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this, guys. Uh, first of all, um, the Rogue was uh, one of the predecessors to the Vision 110. And when I helped design the Vision 110 for Mega Bass, um, I basically, everything that I had to base my jerkbait experience from was on the, the Smithwick Rogue. This was my staple jerkbait before the Vision 110 came out. So um, I worked with Mega Bass to help design the Vision 110 based upon what I liked about the Rogue and what I did not like about the Rogue and to try to, to get my own, uh, you know, viewpoint of what is going to, you know, create the best jerk bait. But what I want to do today is I want to talk about the two uh, used in correlation with each other, because there's a lot of people that still use the Rogue today, and a ton of people still use the Vision 110. First of all, in my fishing, 98% um, of the time, I'm using some type of mega bass jerk bait. That's just that's all I've got. I've got all Mega Bass jerk baits. If you look at my uh, wall of baits up there, and I've got one box that's got about 25 of these big Smithwick Magnum Rogues in there. Because there is, to me, there's still a time and a place for this. Most of the time, um, like I said, there, I've, I've encountered very few situations where anything else will outproduce the Vision 110. Guys, I can promise with you, and then here again, this is my opinion, if you go out on the boat with me on a jerkbait trip at Table Rock Lake, Stockton Lake, wherever lake we go to, and one of us has whatever type of mega bass uh, jerkbait that they're wanting at the time versus a rogue or any other any other jerkbait out there, you're you simply can't compete against the the one the the, the mega bass model. It's simply almost almost every time is going to outproduce it. I'm not going to say 100 percent of the time. But 95% of the time, whoever's throwing the Mega Bass is going to catch more fish than any other, you know, bait you can throw, including the Rogue or whatever. That's just, and I say that based upon the experience I've had fishing jerk baits with other people fishing other models. I've just seen it myself, and I've experimented a lot. So 98% of the time, in my jerk bait fish, and I'm using one of the, you know, 10 plus models of jerk baits that Mega Bass makes. I just think. The attention to detail, the components, the internal balancing system, every single thing about this bait, it simply gets more, it gets, it gets more strikes and bigger strikes. However, there are still time for the old Smithwick Rogue, guys. I still use this bait. The time that I have found a Smithwick Rogue will sometimes produce better than another jerk bait is specifically when you're fishing over some type of submergent vegetation, like, uh, you know, hydrilla, and milfoil if you have water that's a little bit on the dirty side. So I'll take, for example, if you're fishing a lake like Lake Gunnersville, um, and you've got water visibility that's maybe two feet, which is considered a little bit off-colored for jerk baits. there's something about the profile and the size 
and maybe the sound of a rogue that it works really good over submergent grass. I catch a lot of fish on it with that. Um, so from that standpoint, that's why I still have them in the box. The thing about the Rogue compared to the 110 is the quality control and the components are really cheap on this bait compared to the 110. The 110, you got you know better components all the way around, better hooks, better split rings. Um, you don't have to tune it out of the box. It's tuned perfectly. The Rogue, most all the time, when you get it out of the box, it's going to run off to one side, so you've got to tune the, the eye on it. Um, most of them, the old ones that I like, are not weighted. They're not weight, weighted for neutral suspension. The new ones, some of the new ones are, but the old ones are. So you can see you have to put different variations of suspend strips on it, and you usually have to put different hooks on it. These are the Gamagatsu G Finesse on it. So there's a little bit more that you have to do with it. But there's something about the rogue at times it will still produce fish and it, it still has a place in my box even though i'm using mega bass 98 percent of the time so and most of the time if i well all the time actually that's all i got is i'm using the big rogue it's something about the big five and a half inch rogue that i get more bites on than any other than any other size so uh the point of this video guys is i just want to let you guys know that um, there's a time and place for the smithwick rogue that may work a little bit better than the Vision 110 at times. Um, not that you can't catch them on the 110 over grass, because I've smoked them over the grass at Gunnersville. The last tournament I fished there, I may have finished uh, 14th, 13th or 14th on the Vision 110 over grass, and they weren't biting the, the Rogue in that tournament, but I have caught them real good under those conditions. So the other thing about the Rogue uh, sometimes too is when uh, the water is dirty and not only dirty but cold where you have to leave this thing suspended perfectly a lot for a long period of time um, You know, you can get some bites on there. So that's the two guys 110 Smithwick Rogue um, Like I said both of them's got a place in your tackle box and uh, It's just a matter of you know getting some time under your belt experience as far as knowing when to use which when to, when to use which um, but that's another thing we can talk about. If you guys want to check out the advanced jerkbait seminar we're doing at fishthemoment.com, you can, we'll be talking about that some too. I know a lot of you guys out there probably say, oh, I have that Berkeley stun. I like that. Or I like the Lucky Craft. Or I like the, you know, whatever different model you have on there. So, you know, if it's working for you, fine. But if it's not, uh, you know, make up a switch, you know, just sort of experiment a little bit and see which one works better than, than another for you. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Much appreciated. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'm still half the dudes watching this channel are unsubscribed to it. And uh, if you want to, if you like what I'm doing here, you like the info that I'm putting out, or even if you don't like it and I do things to irritate you, but you just can't resist it and have to tune in to see how I'm going to be pissing people off today, you can also invite it to subscribe as well. So thanks again, guys. We'll talk to y'all later.